Hi guys, it's Ben Heath from Lead Guru, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create an effective brand awareness campaign on Facebook. So brand awareness Facebook ad campaigns aren't often used um, because they don't often deliver great results over the short run, but they can be very, very effective over the long run. And when I create Facebook ad campaigns, which I do for my own business, I do for my clients, I do expect them to deliver tangible results over the long run, and, and they do. So what I wanted to do was show you exactly how to create one of these campaigns. So I'm gonna provide a sort of over the shoulder demonstration in this video of a brand awareness um, ad campaign that I could run for my own business that I have run similar ones like the one I'm about to show you um, before. So what you want to do is head into Ads Manager, which is where I am right now, and then we're going to create a new campaign. So go ahead and click the green Create button, and the first thing we're going to do is um, obviously set the uh, the campaign objective, which determines it as a brand awareness campaign. So let's go ahead and call this example brand awareness campaign. Buying type we can leave as auction, um, only option there anyway. And then we want to select brand awareness. Now, if I just go ahead and use example ad set and example ad, we'll be good to get started. Save to draft. So here we are at the campaign level. Now, the first thing you need to understand with brand awareness, you need to understand when you use that campaign objective, what does that actually mean? What it means is that Facebook are going to serve your ads. They're going to optimize for people that are most likely to recall your ad. And there's a few different metrics they use to work out who's most likely to recall and remember your ad, but the, the biggest one is linger time. So let's say someone, you know, spends a number of seconds reading your ad, you know, 30 seconds reading your ad, or they spend a minute watching your video. That's a lot of linger time, particularly on Facebook, when people can scroll in the Facebook newsfeed, go somewhere else. Now, those people is who Facebook is going to try and optimize for, going to try and find within your target market when you select the brand awareness objective. And that's different from people that might read for five seconds and then quickly click onto your website, or people that might click and then go ahead and, and convert. There are differences there. Um, so if you are after brand awareness, if you do want to be remembered and recognized and you want your brand to be known in a particular area, it's a great campaign because as I said, people who are served ads, who spend more time on it, whether it's you know text-based, image-based, um, video, um, if they're going to remember it, that is what brand awareness is. So if you are after brand awareness, particularly in a, in a local area, it can be a great campaign objective. So first thing is to, is to understand that. Then you don't need to worry about any of this. You can jump ahead into the um, ad set level. Okay, so here we are now at the ad set level, and this is obviously where we set our targeting, who we're going to advertise to, and our placements and things like that. So don't worry about dynamic creative. First thing to set is your budget. So if you want to run brand awareness campaigns on an ongoing basis, I usually recommend taking around about 10% of your budget to that purpose. And if you're wanting to increase brand awareness uh, within your target market that you're perhaps advertising with lead ad campaigns, conversion campaigns, something like that, um, that can be a very effective strategy. The other time we might want to run brand awareness campaign is when you're specifically going after uh, brand awareness in a particular area for something. So if you've got an upcoming event, a brand awareness campaign could be great before tickets go on sale or something like that to, to, to build awareness. If you've just opened a new restaurant or a new gym in a location, you might want to generate some brand awareness in the local area um, uh, so that there are times when you might focus more specifically on brand awareness. But if you're doing it in the background, around 10% of your budget is great. Otherwise, obviously, you can set whatever budget you want. So let's get to the... I'm going to explain the example that I'm going to use in this video. So I'm quite well known personally as a Facebook advertising expert in the UK. Um, people, if you talk, you know, you talk to other Facebook advertisers and, and people involved in this space, you know, there will be some brand recognition, some name recognition of mine uh, for that. Let's say, for example, I was going to speak at a conference, a social media conference, Facebook advertising conference, something like that in Australia. I'm not very well known in Australia at all. So if I was going to go speak at a conference and let's say there's lots of other speakers, I might want to make sure that people who are attending that conference actually listen to me uh, and turn up and, and see what I'm about to say. So to do that, I could run an, a, um, a brand awareness campaign for, let's say, two or three weeks before the conference in a particular area to build brand awareness establish my expertise to that population uh, and increase the people who are going to listen to me speak and all that sort of stuff. So that's the sort of time when you might be able to use it. That's the example that I'm going to use in this uh, campaign. So first thing obviously you need to do, I've started doing it there, but first thing you need to already do is add in your location. So I want 
Sydney, New South Wales, Australia. And then let's say um, I'm not going to want as large an area as that, obviously. Let's pop it down to, to 15 miles, something like that. Okay, got 4.1 million people. That's a, that, that's a lot of people. But the first thing you obviously need to do is set in your location parameter if you want to, to do brand awareness to a local market. You can do brand awareness campaigns to a national, international audience. I don't think Facebook works that well for it, unless you've got just a monstrous budget, uh, millions of dollars a month. I would look to do it on a localized basis. I think it performs better. So first thing you want to do is add in our location. Now, given the conference example, I might have access to the members of the conference or something like that. Uh, sorry, the, the the yeah, the, the people who are going to attend uh, from, from the organizers. So I might be able to pop that in as a custom audience in this section and advertise specifically to those people. Let's assume that I don't have something like that. I don't have any access to people who are going. I just want to increase brand awareness in that area. Well, the best thing for me to do would be to take the people that are currently on my email list in the UK and all around the world, create a lookalike audience for Australia, and pop that in here. That would bring my total audience down big time. And I've actually prepared that lookalike audience so I can show you how that works. So let's say I pop in AU lookalike, let's go with 2% based off my Facebook ad template subscribers. So the people that have signed up to my Facebook ad template, um, you can see that brings me down to, to 45,000. So those are the people that live within 15 miles of the center of Sydney um, that are very similar to people that are on my email list that are in the UK, US, other markets where, where I'm more well known. That's going to be a great target audience to advertise to on a brand awareness basis because these people are very likely to be interested in what I have to say. So if you've got a customer list, an email list, website traffic in a certain from a certain area and you want brand awareness in another area, go ahead and create a, a lookalike audience off those people and advertise that. If you're not familiar with lookalike audiences, check out the video description. I'll include a link to a video that shows you exactly how to create lookalike audiences and set them up in a campaign and all that sort of stuff. Again, let's assume that I didn't have that as a third option, because not all businesses will, particularly if you're new, then you're going to want to enter in some sort of demographic interest behavioral targeting options. So I might know, for example, that my core demographic are people, as a Facebook avatar, are people that are age, let's say, 30 to uh, 55. That's going to narrow me down a bit. My people on my email list is very much a split between men and female, but you might have a business that's more gender specific. And then I can add something in here. So one of the options I could use for my own business would be Facebook page admins and specifically business page admins, actually. And that's going to bring me right down to 37,000. So that's not a similar size to what I had using the uh, the lookalike. Remember, in this case, I'm going for brand awareness over a very concentrated time period. So I want quite a small audience. If you're looking to leave this going on uh, the background in terms of alongside your conversion campaigns, and you're using, let's say, 10% of your budget to do that, you're going to want to advertise to the much larger audiences. But if you've you know, opened a new restaurant, a new gym, you've got an event coming up in the area, you're going to want this concentrated, targeted audience to use uh, brand awareness. Okay, scrolling on, moving on. Automatic placements, you can leave that as is. If you feel very strongly about, I only want to show up in the Facebook news feeds, then fine, you can go select edit placements. What you'll find with brand awareness campaigns, because it's optimizing for linger time, is that 95% plus of your impressions are going to be on the mobile news feed, the desktop news feed, well, Instagram as well, but basically the feeds, um, because that's where people spend them the most amount of time. So I think it's fine to leave as automatic. Here you can actually see it at the bottom here, optimization for ad deliveries, ad recall lift. So we serve your ads to maximum Maximize the total number of people who remember seeing your ads. That's what this objective is all about. But that's all we need to do at the uh, ad set level. Let's go ahead and jump into the third and final part, which is the ad itself. Okay, so here we are at the ad level. Now, there are certain things that I really like to include in brand awareness campaigns that aren't as important in other types of campaigns. The first one is video content. If you want something to be remembered, I think the absolute best way to go about that is video content. Uh, whether it's an upcoming event you've got, whether you're looking to, you, you you know, you've got an upcoming product launch and you, or you could use a product demonstration video. There aren't many scenarios where I wouldn't recommend using a video. If you've opened a restaurant or a gym or something along those lines, create a video of the location, of what's inside it, all that sort of stuff. I think that will perform best 
for brand awareness, which is what you're after. So that's the example I'm going to give. Obviously, if you don't have any video content, if you don't have the resources to create it, then you can go ahead and use an image. Um, just know that I don't think it's gonna be as effective. Okay, so creating the ad, what I would usually do here is I would select use existing post. So I would recommend that you post a video to your Facebook page, whatever video you want to use then use that existing post in your brand awareness campaigns. That way, if you use them in multiple campaigns over you know, the years, months, however long you, you use it for, the social proof will be concentrated, the likes, comments, and shares will all be on that one post as opposed to split over different ads in different campaigns. The other thing is that it will look less like an ad if you post the video to your Facebook page and use that as opposed to creating a video ad now in Ads Manager. So you could opt not to include a headline, uh, a call to action button, and I think for brand awareness that could be really really useful to not have those things because you don't want people to go oh this is an ad and, and quickly carry on scrolling on their phone. You want people to pay attention, to give it some time so that they remember you and your business. Um, so I'm going to use existing post. If I now click select post, and that's going to bring up various posts on, on my Facebook page. Let's, uh, so obviously you would normally prepare this and, and put one particularly on your Facebook page, but let's go ahead and select, oh, here we go, something like this. What is the Facebook ads learning phase? It's got a bunch of likes, a few shares on it, something like that. Okay, so normally you would want to make sure that your video, copy, etc., had all been prepared along the lines of what it is that you're looking to achieve. If you're a service-based business or someone in, in this scenario, I would want to demonstrate expertise to my target audience so that when I go speak at the conference, they're going to go, oh, that guy knows what he's talking about. He has some really interesting things to say. I'm going to go along and make sure I hear him speak. Um, if it's like a restaurant or, or, or something like that, you might want to show, create a, a video of your food being created and served in your brand new restaurant and all that sort of stuff. If you've got an event coming up, show, uh, have a video, hopefully you've got video footage of previous year's event and you can show some of that and get people really excited. So make sure this is prepared. This is actually a video that I could use. So this one's all about uh, the Facebook ads learning phase. Um, people who advertise on Facebook will be familiar with this because their ad sets, it'll pop up alongside their ad set once they launch their campaign saying um, learning phase. Um, so this is something that this basically explains what it is, what you do and don't want to do whilst your campaigns are through the learning phase and all that stuff. So I could run this to that uh, local market, particularly the lookalike audience or even better, the list of people that I know are going. Make sure they see this, they recognize my face so that this demonstrates expertise, et cetera, et cetera. Now, this video can have a call to action at the end of it. So it can have come to our restaurant, um, you know, free weeks gym membership, uh, half price tickets if you buy them before, you know, the end of March or whatever. Um, that's fine, but that's not the primary objective of this campaign. The primary objective is brand awareness. So set this up, make sure you include the information you need to include. I've got other ads that talk about, you know, creating other videos, sorry, that talk about creating copy for ads. I'm not gonna go into that here, but really I would recommend using uh, video content. If you're trying to work out what sort of video content, check out my Facebook page and have a look at this video. This video is the sort of thing that for a service provider like myself would work really well. If you're a product-based business and you want brand awareness for an up and coming product, use a product demonstration video. If you're location-based, like a restaurant, a gym or something, use something that demonstrates your location in use and how awesome it is. If you've got an upcoming event, show people how awesome the last year's event was or the last month's event was and why they don't want to miss out. These are the sorts of things I'd recommend creating for your, your brand awareness campaigns. Right, just before you go, something I want to tell you about, which is my five-part Facebook ad template. Um, it's something you can download right now for free. It contains some of the best performing ads that we've created as a Facebook advertising, as a Facebook advertising agency for our clients. And there's six ads in there that you can model from. We've broken each ad down, explained what we've included and why. If you're looking to get better results on Facebook, if you're looking to improve your ads, work out what to include in your copy and all that stuff, go ahead and, and download that. As I said, it's free. You should find it really useful. If you found this video useful, hopefully you did, please let me know in the comments section below. If you've got questions, pop them in the comments. I will get to them. Um, subscribe to the channel and, uh, and give it a thumbs up. And I'll talk to you soon, guys. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.